guys, this is Greg Siegel from Codable, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a URL link to your Xcode project. So the first thing you want to do is go to Xcode, and go to create a new Xcode project. We're going to go to a single view application and go next. And we're going to call it URL link. Go next, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in for you guys. Like that. Okay, we're going to go into our view controller.h. Just going to create a bracket here. Um, and we're going to create our IB action. So dash, bracket open, IB action, bracket closed, link, semicolon. And that's all we need to do. That's all done. Then we need to go to our view control.m. We need to do exactly the same thing. We need to just go dash, bracket open. IB action, bracket, clo bracket closed, link, and then bracket will create another one for us. Okay, once that's all done, you need to do two brackets, then UI application space shared application bracket closed. We need to do a space, we need to do open URL, like that, and then we need to do bracket NSURL in capitals, space, URL, with string, and then colon, and we need to do at speech marks. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out. Now this is where you need to put your URL, so I've already got one here, which is my Twitter account. So I'm just going to copy that, <clears throat> and I'm going to zoom back in. I'm going to place that there, and then we close the speech marks, and then we do two brackets, a semicolon. There we go, and we have got no errors. If I just zoom out, you can see, got no errors. Okay. So I'm just going to zoom zoom in for you guys a little bit more. Hopefully it won't be too blurry. So if you pause the video now, you'll be able to copy that code into Xcode if you wish. Okay, guys. So that is all sorted. So what we need to do is go into our viewcontroller.nib, or XIB, depending on what you want to call it. Okay. So... I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to change this to white just to make things easier. Now, as it's an action, we need to add a button in um, which is going to receive that action. So I'm going to put this button in the middle and I'm call it Greg's Twitter. There we go, and that's adjusted. Should be all good. If we go to our files owner and then we can see our link, and we just need to drag that in and go touch up inside. Just like that, we zoom out, go to the iPhone 5.0 simulator, and we press run. Hopefully this should all work. We have no errors at this point. There we go, perfect. So, if yes, I click on well, this, 30. it will link me, link us to the our my Twitter account. There we go. And there we have it. Brilliant. Work first time. Um, I'll just zoom this out and we can uh, zoom in. There we go. So it's basically like uh, your Safari would be in uh, on your iPod touch or iPhone. Um, so it's linking us to the Safari application in that. Um, so that's brilliant. Worked perfectly. This is fantastic. I mean, you can use this in so many ways. I use this in my apps uh, all the time. If you want to advertise yourself, you can link it to Twitter, um, your YouTube account, your Facebook account. Get people to follow you and um, find out what you're doing and earn more money, basically, and advertise yourself. Um, so it's a great way to add that into your app and adds a new dimension. So that was how to add a URL link to your Xcode project. I'm Greg Siegel. Thank you for listening.